Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to my first playthrough, or should I say grind through, of Final Fantasy VII. And as you can see, I am, okay, my current level, I'm currently level 65 as you can see, uh, well Cloud is anyway, and then Kate said this 57, Red is 56, I'm currently training them to level 60, I believe, and... other party members, Beard's 58, Tifa 61, Yuffie is 57, Vincent's 58, and Sid's 56. So, I could say that my characters are pretty low level right now, and I'm towards the end of the game, and I cannot get through, um, I think it was the Northern Cave I had to get through. Because I'm not high level enough, and I should have grinded more probably earlier on in the game, but that was my fault. But I am having no problems with grinding right now. Because I have been doing pretty well with leveling up at the moment. And I'm just working on leveling up my various party members and everything. I'm still not sure who my final team is going to be of three. I know you can split into two teams, but I don't know who I might have on Cloud's team. I might just stick with the main three, Tifa, Barrett, and Cloud, because, you know, that's three to start out with, and they were the Avalanche members, and I just feel that would be very fitting for the final team battle, or whatever. So, I guess I will stop standing around. Hang on, let me just move the mic a bit. Okay, so that way I can move around, and the mic's not in my way. I should have had it over here before. You can't really see my setup, so you have no idea what I'm talking about. But that's fine. Also, I'm kind of, like, trying to keep my voice quieter, because in one of my dog and Rapa places, it was kind of loud. So I'm trying to speak quieter with that. Anyway, so I did say I was going to tell you guys how I got into Final Fantasy VII while doing this. But I'll try to keep the volume down so you can hear me. And it seems... Oh, sorry. I need to heal. Keep it, so... And maybe Cloud too. So... I heard about Final Fantasy VII a long time ago, of course. I didn't get to play it when it came out. I didn't really hear about it back then because I did not have any consoles. Like I did not, I did not have a PS One I could play it on. It was a PS Two. I'm terrible. My memory is fuzzy right now, and I can't quite remember exactly. But I only had a computer back then to play games on. So, and I had a well, my family owned an Atari as well. But, you know, we can't play Final Fantasy VII on that, because that's too old. So, I lacked the console for Final Fantasy VII. So I didn't quite hear about it back then, I guess. Or maybe I did, I just didn't pay attention, because it didn't... It didn't stand out to me. It didn't stand out to me, because non-PC games did not stand out to me much back then, unless they were Disney-related, because I grew up on Disney, and if I saw a Disney game, I'd be like, Oh, I want to play that! Oh, but why is it not on PC? I mean, I got a lot of PC Disney games over the years as a kid, but never, you know, non-Disney... Well, I got some non-Disney, like, PC games, like, for other shows I watched, and I was a I've been a big fan of King's Quest since I was a kid, and I have a lot of good memories with that series. But I never really quite paid attention to Final Fantasy. I don't remember if I heard about it back then or not, but anyways, enough about that. Let's move on to when I actually remember hearing about it. It was like, probably around maybe 2007, 2008 when I first heard about Final Fantasy. I know, a long time after Final Fantasy VII came out, but... You know, heck, at least I heard about it, I guess. I mean, I was going to eventually. Well, actually, my first, the first time I heard about anything Final Fantasy was 2004, when I was at a friend's house, and we were hanging out, and she wanted to play Final Fantasy X 2, 
So she played Final Fantasy X-2, and I was like, oh, what's this game? It's really, you know, pretty. And I was, like, kind of excited because, you know, she had a PS2 and was playing it on that and everything, and I did not own one at the time. So I was, like, really excited to see this game, and I was like, wow, we're going to see a non-PC game and stuff. That's not, like, old. Because I remember, like, so friends, the neighbors I had while back they had a Super Nintendo and I'd go over there and we would play like, you know, it was all the Link to the Past and everything. But, you know, no Final Fantasy games were on that. So, but this was my first time hearing about Final Fantasy. Not 7, but hey, at least, you know, it's something. And I hear like 10 2 is not actually that great, but it looked really pretty. I remember like being amazed by it regardless, even if it's a terrible game. But, I mean, heck, I really liked the costumes and stuff too. I think I remember liking Nina's outfit a lot too, but like... So then, after some time, I finally heard about Seven, and I saw that it was extremely popular out of all the Final Fantasies, and I was like, wow, why is this one so popular? Um, so... Oh. So I was like, why is this one the one that everyone likes? Why is it not like any of the, of the others? And then, you know, I checked out all the other Final Fantasy games like 8 and 3 and 6, and I kind of, I started playing 3 on the DS because a friend had it and let me borrow their DS and the game so I could play 3, and I thought it was a lot of fun, and I'm like, how come this one doesn't get more attention? Like, how come it's all about 7? And I tried out 7. Okay, so back then, a friend, like, told me about emulators and stuff like that. And at the time, I, well, I didn't quite understand it was illegal. I mean, I guess in a way I did. But they were like, oh, you know, you need to check out these Final Fantasy games, even if you have to do it this way. And so I was like, well, okay. So I checked them out on an emulator and stuff back then. Of course, now you see I'm playing it legally on Steam, of course. Because I bought the game, and you know, so now I can play it without worrying about all that stuff. But anyways, back then I did, you know, I didn't have Steam. It wasn't on Steam back then, so I had no way else to play it really. And my friend was like, "Well, you should really check out Final Fantasy. They're great games." And I was like, "Okay." So I, um, you know, started checking out the, all the Final Fantasy games I could. I tried out seven. I tried out six. I can. I could not. I did not try out 8 at the time, but 8 kind of stood out to me more than the others, I guess. Maybe because I really liked how 8 looked and the characters. And I really liked Renoa's outfit, because I thought it was really pretty with all the blue and everything. And I kind of wanted to cosplay her back then, but I didn't until a long time after. But I'll not talk about 8 so much, because I want to talk about 7. And so... From then on, 8 was my favorite for a while, and then let's fast forward to years later, where a lot of the games are on Steam, and I was like, oh my god, I can finally play the Final Fantasy games I've been wanting to play, I don't have to use an emulator, I can buy the games, and I can feel proud about owning them, and I'm able to play them legally, because I mean, if it wasn't legal, then Steam would be sued, right? So, I bought 7 and 8 when I saw them on there. I have yet to buy 10 and 10 too, because they come in a bundle, but I will buy those eventually. It's not that I don't want to play 10 and 2, it's just, it's not my high priority to buy those two right now. I'm okay with 7 and 8, I still have yet to finish 8, but anyways. I played a lot of 8 though. Um, 8 was the first one I played a lot of. And I kind of got stuck on one boss, and I decided to, like, take a break from it. And then I went to play 7, and I could kind of see the hype around it. But, like, I didn't, like, I still didn't get, you know, how it was the favorite. And I was like, well, I mean, I like 8 a lot. I wish it got more attention, but maybe it's good that it's not too overrated. So, hang on, let me... Heal cloud and everyone okay so basically I was you know still wondering why seven was the one that was hyped a lot over all the others but I guess I could kind of get it because the characters really do stand out and 
a lot of the characters are really pretty, even though there are pretty characters in all the games. But, you know, apparently 7th is the popular one. And I realized, well, maybe it's because of the compilation of it. You know, we've got Crisis Core, we've got um, Before Crisis, even though you cannot play that. Unless you were, like, in Japan and had, like, one of those old mobile phones. And there's Avid Children. Barely any Final Fantasies get in movies, so I mean, I guess that kind of also helped the popularity because, you know, it was a really good-looking movie at the time, and, you know, it was amazing for when it came out, and I agree that it was amazing at its time. So I think maybe that really helped the popularity grow for Final Fantasy VII, and I was like, okay. And after I had played some of Final Fantasy, I went and watched Advent Children, and I know it gets mixed, like, ratings and stuff, and some fans love it, some fans hate it. I'm one of those fans that love Advent Children. I actually adore it a lot. Maybe it's because you get to see, like, more of some characters you hardly get to see in the game. And, you know, maybe it's because you're introduced to these characters, you know, the remnants of Sephiroth. And I'm like, wow, these are interestingly funny characters. Despite them being the, like, kind of main villains in the movie, but, like, they're kind of hilarious. But, I was like, oh, they're interesting. And, I kind of, like, I kind of fell in love with the movie, despite the fact that people either love it or hate it. It gets a lot of mixed feelings. And, you know, I really liked it, and then, I started... Like, I decided that I kind of wanted to do a Tifa cosplay because I thought she would be fun and everything, and I really like her Advent Children outfit. I wouldn't, I wanted to make her original outfit, but eh, I kind of like the Advent Children one more because it's not as skimpy, and I wasn't sure if I felt comfortable with wearing her original outfit, so I went with the Advent Children one, and I, you know, bought it off of somewhere. I forget where I got it from, but... And, you know, I, I liked wearing it and everything, but, like, I mean, I liked the outfit and everything, and I wore it, I've worn it a couple times, and I even met her, uh, Tifa's English voice actor at a convention that was actually local to me, because she apparently was a guest there, and I was like, I can, you know, meet her as Tifa and whatnot, and I went to her panel at this convention as Tifa, and she really liked my cosplay, and I was, like, so happy. And I was like, yay! And, yeah, like, that was an amazing moment, and there's another moment a couple weeks after that where I met another Final Fantasy VII voice actor that I was super excited to meet, but I'll get into that in a bit because it's connected to a kind of other separate story of mine that I want. I'm probably going to save this separate story for my next video, or I could just tell it now and make this a long... I don't know, people want to really hear me go on about this for a long time, because it's not like a dog and knock over. I'm playing the game and reading the lines and everything. I'm just telling you guys a story while I grind in Final Fantasy VII. But anyways, I guess I could tell you that story too. I can try to keep it short so this video isn't too long. So... Oh, I hate when they're put to sleep. But I have... I forget who has the item where it, it keeps from falling asleep. But, you know. Anyways, I will get on into the story in a minute here. It also ties into why 7 became my favorite over time. Because at first, like, I did start like 7 more, but it wasn't my favorite yet. So, hang on a second. Okay, so I'm going to hang on a bit here as I start the story, and then I'll get back to grinding. But, friends, okay, so this happened Phantom May last year, 2018. So some friends and I were trying to figure out a panel to do for this year's Phantom May because we weren't going to do Dramatical Murder anymore, mainly because the fandom was dying and still kind of is. And we didn't really have a big audience anymore, or like, we didn't have a lot of people show up for the panel. 
So my friends were like, okay, we need to figure out something new to do, something that doesn't have a dying fandom, something that's we, that we're all basically more or less into, something that's popular, and something that has fans coming back. Well, we decided on Final Fantasy because it's a huge, huge fandom. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. And we're like, well, this is perfect because you have all these games in Final Fantasy and you can do pretty much any of the popular ones and you'll get a big crowd probably. So at first we thought, well, okay, since we did Dramatical Murder, it was basically an 18 plus panel because Dramatical Murder is an 18 plus game. That's a yaoi if some of you do not know. And so we kind of wanted to stick with the theme and kind of make it a Final Fantasy 18 plus Yaoi panel, more or less. And so we thought, okay, well, what if we did some of the male characters from the major Final Fantasy games, like 7 and 15, maybe, you know, 10, and, you know, some of the more popular Final Fantasies? And I was sitting there thinking, who, which male character from Final Fantasy would I cosplay? Because... When it came to cosplaying Final Fantasy, I wanted to stick with female characters because I like a lot of their outfits, and they are a lot of fun to make. Of course, I couldn't make Tifa's outfit because I didn't want to work with pleather or anything at the time. But I did make Renoa's outfit, and kind of made Refia's thief outfit from 3. And I thought, well, I don't know what male character I would cosplay because there's not a lot of male characters that I would be wanting to cosplay. Um, but I did kind of want to do Urban from 8 because I really liked him, and I thought, well, maybe I could do him, but I don't know if I really want to do that outfit. I was kind of debating on it at the time, and my friend, friends were like, well, is he, you know, popular enough? Because I thought, well, I guess, but I thought maybe I should pick a, a character that's more popular and people want to see more, maybe? Because Urban isn't too popular as far as I know. So I was thinking and I remembered I kind of did want to do Reno from Seven because at first, like when I watched Advent Children, I remember seeing all the comic relief of him and Rude and I thought they were hilarious. And I didn't really, like at first I think I was a little annoyed with how much, how many scenes they had in Advent Children. Well they have a lot in complete. So, that's the one I watched at first, and I thought, they have an awful lot of scenes for being minor characters in the game. But I didn't mind it too much, but I had kind of wanted to cosplay Reno back then because his outfit seemed really easy to do, and, you know, I could do most of that easily. And then, so I got to thinking, and I thought, you know what, I think, I think I'll do Reno, because, you know, he'd be really easy, like I said. And he'd be a lot of fun because he is an amazing character. And after that, Reno kind of started becoming my favorite Seven character because I went back and watched Avid Children, but I paid attention to him more this time. And I kind of fell in love with Reno, and like I was super excited to start cosplaying him. And then I remembered that in a couple of months from then at Sack Anime, they would have his English voice actor, which is Quentin Flynn, and I was like, oh my god, I could go meet him and cosplay Reno, and then I was just getting so excited for that, and I started working on the cosplay right then and there from the get-go, and I got it, I got the first version of my cosplay done in like a couple weeks or so, and I was just super happy with it, and you know, then we go to and actually got to meet him, it was an amazing time, by the way. And I just had so much fun meeting him and everything, and it's just, that was a fun moment. And then, we did the panel this year, and I was Reno for it, but the thing is, we changed it to Final Fantasy XV and Final Fantasy VII, but not just male characters. We had all characters, well not all characters, we had the main four from XV, and then we had Cloud, Zack, Eris, and me and Rude from Seven, and that was fun. And next year we're gonna do a just Seven panel, and that should be so much fun. And so yeah, that's, and then 
after Reno became my favorite character, Seven kind of quickly went up and became my favorite, so... I guess it's because of him that Seven became my favorite Final Fantasy, which is interesting, I guess you could say. Um, and now I'm extremely excited for the remake, and I'm extremely excited to see more Reno. And I love how he looks in the remake. I love whoever's doing his voice. I really do hope they reveal that soon because I've been dying to know who's doing his voice now. And I'm dying to know the rest of the voices too that we have not heard of yet. Like, we don't know who's doing Rude or Sung or Don Corneo, but it's hinted that Mark Hamill's doing Corneo, but it's not confirmed yet. So if you see that anywhere, it's just a rumor. People are just speculating that it's him because it sounds like him, but it could be somebody else entirely, so I don't know what's going on there. It does sound like him, though. I also have speculations on who is doing Reno's voice, but I'm not entirely sure yet, so I'm not going to say anything until they reveal that, because I don't want to, like, say something, have that person be like, oh, no, it's not me, I, it's not me at all, and I don't want to be like, oh okay, I was wrong, and not get people thrown off guard, and then when they announce it, they'll be like, you told us he was doing his voice, and I'd be like, no, I was just speculating, so I'm not going to say anything at all, but I do have my predictions, we will see if I'm right, anyways, I might end this here, I know I kind of did not do a lot of grinding in this video, because I was distracted by telling my story, Next time, if I do grind, I'll try and not talk as much and focus more on grinding. Uh, I didn't quite level up tonight. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's basically how I got into Final Fantasy VII and how it became my favorite and how Reno became one of my favorite characters ever. He grew over, he grew on me so much over time, and he continues to do so. And I, I know. In the game, he does some pretty horrible things, but, I mean, he was kind of forced to? Well, not forced to, but, like, it was his job, and he kind of had to do it, you know, so he could keep his job, but, I mean, he didn't have to be a jerk in the first place, so I guess there's that. And he did have a lot of regrets in having children, so, I don't know. I still love him all the same, and yeah, I really hope we find out who's doing his voice in the remake, and I'm super excited for it. Sadly, I will not be able to play it when it comes out because I do not have a PS4, such as my life of lacking the right consoles, I know, but I will gladly watch playthroughs of it when it comes out and when people post those, and I'm super excited to watch the game. And watch Reno. So, yeah, okay, so I will stop this here. I can talk more about it next time when I do gr more grinds. Actually, this might be my only grind through because I didn't do so well with this video. So, I'm just gonna probably do some actual let's plays of Final Fantasy VII. I will start from the beginning on a new file, and I'll just do that for you guys instead. And yes, I will still be posting Dong and Rampa videos. I did episode 4, I'm working on editing that at the moment, but I did record that, and I will have that up hopefully in the next 24 hours. Anyways, but I'm probably going to have that up. Actually, I'll probably post this one up first, and then put Danganronpa up. So, okay, so I will see you guys later then. Take care, and I hope you guys are as excited about the remake as I am. Later!